All right, guys, what's going on? Megan here. This was my full body workout I uh, started a few days ago. Starting off with upright rolls. Um, I already made a video showing you guys that my trap workout. Well, this is just cutting and editing. I don't feel, I don't feel like, you know, doing a commentary over the whole thing. Just go out there and watch my trap workout. I got a lot of dislikes on that. Fuck you, hippie motherfuckers. A lot of people don't know um, uh, the football movements that I incorporate into my routine. A lot of people are just one-sided. They only think bodybuilding. Exercise, but anyway, I started for upright rolls, do as many rests as I can to failure. Then I superset that with overhead um, front raises, so it hits your front delts, but, mo but mostly your lower traps as you get to the top. As you notice, a lot of people when you're doing front raises, the coach will tell you don't go too high, otherwise you're gonna aggravate your traps. Well, this low budget lean muscle motherfucker wants to hit some um, some upper and middle and lower traps. So anything that hits my traps, I'm doing it. And then I finish it with I finish it with trucks. It's a try set. Uh, upright rows, front raises, and trucks. And then I move on to high pulls, and that's the movements that a lot of people were butthurt about. They're like, oh my god, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. They're not upright rows, guys, they're high pulls, they're Olympic lifts, Google them. Anyway, uh, moved on to clean pulls, which is not high pulls. High pulls, you gotta bring the ball above your chest. These are clean pulls. You only uh, go as high as you can um, using a lot of momentum. What really matters is the stretch as you lower the weight down. As you lower the weight down, the stretch is ridiculous in your traps, and your traps have to contract powerfully to keep your arms attached to your body and you really feel those the next day then i moved on to um clean shrugs not shrugs they're like power shrugs you're cleaning but you just you know you're jumping up with the ball and you're shrugging at the top once i'm done with those trap movements like i said i don't do a lot of volume on that uh on these exercises because my overall time on attention for traps is ridiculous so i do about two three sets of each exercise and i move on as i increase the weight um, move on to rack pulls. That's the big daddy of all trap movements. Um, once again, I put the ball really high because I'm not trying to get my lower back or my hamstrings involved into this. It's all traps, 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 traps. So I put the ball as high as possible. I moved on from four plates to five plates. Um, you know, just just keep pulling. On the last one, I just do as many reps as I can. I just rep out. Um, only on the last one though, because this shit fucks up your central nervous system. You be, you feel overtrained for like mad long. But I got sense of being, so I'm good. All right, so thank you. Move on to the next one. Um, now I start doing my power cardio, which I made a video about a few days ago. When I go really fast, really explosive, um, I pick two body parts and I just keep supersetting back and forth, which in this case is back and chest. And so at the same time, I'm, I'm training for hypertrophy, strength, and I'm doing cardio because I'm going really fast and um, I'm doing a lot of reps and I'm not giving myself a, a lot of time to rest in between. As you can tell, right after this, I'm exhausted as fuck, my heart is racing, but I move on to dips, you know, it's a superset, keep going back and forth, I do 20 rep dips, 20 to 25 reps, <clears throat> um, dips is, is always a movement I was very, very strong at because I, I used to do a lot of push-ups back in the days when I wanted to get my chest up, um, and I keep telling people, man, you want to muscle to grow, repetition, 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 time and attention is the key. Weight is just a tool. Yes, you need heavy weight, but you know, weight is just a tool to you know put the muscle under tension and and stress. So now move on again to bent over rows. This way with a different grip. The first time was underhand grip. This time it's overhand grip. Once again, keeping the rhythm going, really fast, really explosive. I'm getting some, some tension on my back. I mean, obviously something has to move the weight, right? Um, and at the same time, I'm keeping my heart racing. And once again, I just copied and pasted the dips. I don't feel like showing it over and over again. Then I move on to T-ball rolls. Oh, look at the shoulders coming in real nice. Um, T-ball rolls, I do a lot of repetition, about 15 to 20, really lightweight. I use the quarters so that the, I could pull the ball as far back as possible. Super set with dips again. Then I move on to cable rolls. As you can tell, my full body workout is, um, is really, it's, it's, I do it again around my, my lagging body parts, which is back and, um, and chest, obviously. So that's how I do my full body workouts, right? Don't copy my workout. Make your workout work around your routine. Anyway, on cable rolls here, as you can tell, I do drop sets. Um, drop sets going up, going down. I, I bring the weight up, bring the weight down. I, I'm all over the place. And I super set with dips again. I'm mad behind my commentary. Here I'm doing um, dumbbell rows, switching arms, you know, and I didn't want to show it again, but after that, I do more dips. So pretty much, I super set uh, dips with everything that I do. This way, I'm hitting back chest, back chest, back chest, and I, at the same time, I'm hitting real delts. I'm hitting um, uh, biceps and things like that. And over here, I'm doing my bicep exercise. I gotta hurry up, I'm so behind. I'm doing bicep curls, uh, super setting, but more bicep curls. It's really a drop set, right? I have to go up and down, up and down, up and down the rack, keeping tension on the muscle. 
So for you guys that are complaining about stretching at the bottom and all that shit, I'm gonna make a separate video explaining to you guys what I'm doing. But anyway, move on to triceps. I already made a video about this. I'm just gonna go really fast. Uh, so drop set, I just keep getting closer and closer to the thing. This way the tension changes. I learned that from Ben Pikoski. And last but not least is my four squats. Those of you guys who know me know at the end of every workout, I refuse to leave the gym unless I do squats. No matter how tired or hungry I am. I uh, put on 225 on the ball and I just squat. It's an exercise that I hate doing. And for the very, and I should you can tell right there. Look at that. Fucking exhausted, man. And because I hate doing it, I, I force myself to do it. You know, my motto is if you hate it, but you know what's good for you, do it until you fucking love it. Keep doing it over and over again until it becomes second nature, until your body tells you to, to you know, go to the gym and squat. So I got really pumped up, power level going up all over the place. Bump it up to 300. I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm doing front squats, which I think is the most badass exercise uh, of all, you know, around, you know, next to deadlifts, front squats. Just put a heavy ass weight on your shoulders and you squat that shit, you feel me? I mean, everybody could do back squats, but front squats, takes a lot of technique, a lot of practice. Especially at the end of a full body workout when you're exhausted, which is the whole point of four squats. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Quick one down my full body workout. There's some exercises I didn't put in a video. Like, I did calves and I did, like, pullovers and shit like that, but I didn't feel the need to record it because it took away from my rest period. All right, guys. You asked for a full body workout. Here it is. Um, like, share, all that good shit. I'm out.